Um, I was reading the New York Times, there, there are 16,000 Facebook posts espousing conspiracy theories about you and the virus. Uh, th th these, and I mean, I've seen these things, uh, they're liked or commented on 900,000 times. On YouTube, the top 10 videos that spread lies about you had almost 5 million views. It's also pointed out that according to Zignal Labs, which is a media analysis company that tracks this, misinformation about you is the most widespread of all coronavirus falsehoods. Uh, so there's a conspiracy theory that uh, one, uh, one of our viewers uh, asked about. I just want to play that, uh, that sound. What would you say to the fringe portions of the public, like conspiracy theorists, that seem to think that you're somehow responsible for the outbreak? There's also a conspiracy theory that you're pushing vaccines because you're going to inject people with a tracking device when they get the vaccine. It's all, it's all part of a so-called globalist plot to control the world. Uh, QAnon folks are, you know, which is actually a group that's been targeting me as well lately. They're claiming falsely that I'm somehow connected with Jeffrey Epstein and global cabalists of sex traffickers. It's insane. What, what do you say to people who believe this stuff? Because, I mean, I'm sure you are inundated by, I am, by people direct messaging me, just insane stuff. Yeah, the combination of having social media uh, spreading uh, things that are very titillating, uh, to have this pandemic where people are uncertain and you know there's, they're, they'd prefer to have a simple explanation, it's meant that these things are really, uh, you know, millions of messages a day uh, and people like myself and Dr. Fauci become the target. Often, the clever thing they do, you know, our foundation has given more money to buy vaccines to save lives uh, than any group. Uh, you know, so you just turn that around. You say, okay, we're making money and we're trying to kill people with vaccines or by inventing something. Uh, and at least it's true, we're associated with vaccines, but you actually, you know, sort of flipped <laughs> the connection that we have there. Um, you know, I'm, I hope it doesn't create vaccine hesitancy. I hope, you know, this whole story of innovation that's going on, that we do get the benefit of that. It's really the only good news I'm bringing you today is that the diagnostic, therapeutic, and vaccine innovation, these amazing private sector companies uh, without the coordination you would have uh, liked, but they are doing it. Uh, and I do think people uh, on the therapeutic side will be surprised. And, you know, these are well-meaning people. You know, this is a time where people are uh, doing great work. And, you know, so I hope the conspiracy stuff dies down. Uh, it's, it's really, the numbers kind of blow my mind. And it's not just the fringe people that you would uh, normally think of. It's not at all. I mean, I can tell you, I, I get stuff from people who seem, you know, they have lives, they have families. I don't know if they genuinely believe this and they've just been misled, but, um, you know, and for me, it's, you know, I, they claim I'm, I was on Jeffrey Epstein's airplane and going to his island with Tom Hanks, or, or I mean, just, just insane, crazy stuff. Um, what do you, I mean, do you think, I know internet companies are looking at, at, at this. Do you wish that they would, play a role in, in taking stuff down, which is as demonstrably false? Because, I mean, it does have real yeah, world, some... you know, it does have real world uh, uh, impact on, on vaccines or, you know, a nut showing up to a pizza parlor in Washington, D.C. with a gun. Yeah, in some cases, they are taking things down. Um, you know, it it's a bad combination, a pandemic and social media and people looking for very simple explanation. Who's the bad guy here? Um, and a lot of that's been connected to politics, um, more in the US than in other locations. Um, and, you know, of course, vaccines weren't uh, popular with everybody even before this all, all started. So uh, I, you know, I'm a big believer in getting the truth out and if, if but it's, it's kind of not as titillating to say, you know, uh, Cooper's innocent. Uh, oh, well, uh, you know, that's not as exciting. You don't forward that to quite as many people uh, as you do yeah. um, the, the, the accusation.